Hi, I'm Caroline Bateman and in this video I'm going to give you a very quick overview of the accessibility features within Office 365 Word and in particular within learning tools. Now many, many people have purchased Office 365 but they're blissfully unaware of the learning tools functionality so I'm going to show it to you quickly now. Even if you haven't purchased Office 365, it's really worth watching this, this video because it's possible to get Office 365 free through schools. Certain schools have a license that enables you to do this, but more about this towards the end of the video. Here I'm in Microsoft Word Office 365 version and I'm looking at a revision a chemistry book or a chemistry revision booklet and this was supplied by the teacher and it's always worth asking teachers to supply electronic or soft copies of notes because there's so much that students can do if they have an electronic copy. And so you have a clearer view. I'm going to just change the display so we've got it nice and big. So here's our chemistry revision booklet. And to have a look at the learning tools, we go into the view tab. So normally we work here in the home tab and these are the features that you're used to seeing. But when we go into view, we have some more features available. And right next to learning tools, we have the ability to focus. So I'm gonna show you that quickly because in fact, if I click there, it tells you what it does. It el eliminates any distractions. It's very simple. You click that and it gets rid of anything on the screen other than what the student has to concentrate on. And you get the distractions back by pressing escape. So now we're going to look at learning tools. And before I go into it, I want to explain that it is providing an individualized view of this document. So here is what the document looks like. And if I was to send that to other people, this is what they were, would open. And if I was to collaborate with other people all working on this document at the same time, this is what they would see. But I can set learning tools to provide me with a view of the document that I can then edit that suits my learning needs. And I'm going to go in and show it to you because it's easier to see than to explain. So I see straight away that it's changed the background color and it's changed the spacing, the spacing between the letters and the spacing between the lines. And these are the other options that I have available to me. So I can change the column width. So currently I have it on wide, but I could make it very narrow. Personally, I'm happy with it wide, but for some students that will really help. I've already set my page color to what my preference is, but different people have different preferences and you can change it to be anything you want and then anything you open will come in this color if you're using learning tools. Something else that a lot of students find very helpful is this line focus, being able to read through a document a line at a time or perhaps three lines at a time or even five lines at a time. Personally, I'm quite happy not to use that, but students tend to really like this. We have the option to split out syllables. So this has now provided syllable division. And for some students, it will really help them read words because the syllables are split. But for those students, they will love this feature. Elements. They don't contain just one type of atom. Water. It brings up this little um, toolbar and I can jump forward, go back. I can change the speed and I can change the voice. And what we saw there is it actually highlights each word, so it's an immersion reading experience. Water, H2O, is made of two types of... And that is fantastic for students when they have to read um, information to learn. I personally am a very, very good reader, but I find if I listen at the same time as I read, it really helps me to focus and it means I don't reread information in order to gain understanding. And I've done a lot of videos on Read Aloud and I would recommend you go in and check them out. It's not only helpful in instances like this, it's also helpful when students type their own work. And I'm going to show you 
exactly what I mean by that. So here I have a, a, a piece of a student's work and there are mistakes in there that the student isn't able to see, but they can hear them. The person walking through the door is called Lou. Age 11 and must be the tallest boy in the class. He's got a mop of red curly hair and freckles. Every in like Luke because he away got a job to tell that make us laugh. So students that cannot see their mistakes can hear their mistakes. And if they can hear them, they can correct them and get better grades. There's a lot more functionality that I could show you, but I'd recommend you watch my video on the benefits of touch typing to get all the information. But one accessibility feature in Word 365 that I do want to make you aware of is this, it, the spell check has been improved. And here we see that I have spelt something wrong. In fact, I'm gonna change the view so you can see it better. We spelt teacher wrong here. So I'm going to right hand click on teacher and we see that there are different options. But for some dyslexics, they can find it very hard to know which of those is correct. So you have the option here to have it read aloud. Teacher, similar to educator, tutor, instructor. Teach, similar to impart, educate, educate in. So that makes a spell check a lot more dyslexia friendly. If you think this functionality would be helpful, but you don't have a copy of Office 365, Microsoft claim to give away educational copies free to students and educators if their schools have enrolled on their program. I think it's actually more complicated than that and they're not a charity. So I think it's only if the school has purchased an an education version, but it's worth checking out if your school has purchased Office 365 because you might be entitled to copies on your home machines. So check that out because this is lovely functionality that you might be able to get for free from your school. I've got a link below that you can find out more, but it's also worth having a conversation with the IT department in your school. If you think this functionality is helpful, I would really recommend you watch my video on the accessibility features in Word Online. In some ways, the Word Online features are even better when it comes to accessibility features, and it's completely free. You do not have to have purchased Office 365 or Office 2016. You just access it over the internet. So I'd really recommend you have a look at that video. I do hope you found this video useful. Please share it with anyone you know who could benefit. I'd be very grateful if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, as doing so really helps others find this information. If you hit the bell button once you've subscribed, you'll be notified when I create new videos. I've produced some comprehensive free resources to help dyslexics achieve. Details on how to download them are below. Let's work together to help all learners achieve.